Today is May 20th, the sixth Wednesday of Easter. Our prayers and give us this day begin on page 210. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 76. O God, you are renowned in Judah. In Israel, your name is great. You set up your tent in Salem and your dwelling place in Zion. It was there you broke the flaming arrows, the shield, the sword, the armor. Resplendent are you, more majestic than the everlasting mountains. The stout-hearted despoiled sank into slumber. None of the soldiers could lift a hand. At your threat, O God of Jacob, horse and rider lay stunned. You, you alone strike terror. Who can stand in your presence? against the might of your wrath. You uttered your sentence from the heavens. The earth in terror was still when you arose, O God, to judge, to save all the humble of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. At Cornell, we have a very popular program called Soup and Hope. Each year for over a decade, half a dozen members of the community tell a personal anecdote or two usually of a personal struggle or a toxic relationship or devastating sickness, and then convey how they discovered hope, despite the terrible circumstance. At the same time, friends and colleagues serve a simple free lunch made up of, you guessed it, soup. I gave the talk once, and after telling three difficult personal stories, suggested ways to choose hope through music and poetry and friendship. Without diminishing the premise of this well-established and well-loved program, the hope of Soup and Hope is not the same as the Christian hope mentioned in the letter to the Romans, or anywhere else in the scripture for that matter. Christian hope is a conviction a deliberate choice to believe in and act out of a number of divine promises. The promise of Christ's return, the promise of personal immortality, the promise of personal bodily resurrection, and the promise of an eternal and transformed community, which we call the Church. In this brief portion of the letter to the Romans, Paul mentions, almost for the first time, 
God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. A trinity of persons, but one God, who, we believe, is the source and summit of all for which we hope. We don't hope for these things because we're afraid that something else might happen or take their place. We hope in these things because we believe that they are true and inevitable. The Spirit will guide us to all truth. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit will guide us to all truth. Saving God, you defend the defenseless, and deliver the humble. In hope we pray, let our boast be in you, O God. Breathe your wisdom into our prayer and work. Let our boast be in you, O God. Break the grip of oppressors and lead those who are fleeing from danger to places of safety. Let our boast be in you, O God. Heal divisions among Christians, and lead all people to live together in peace. Let our boast be in you, O God. In hope we pray, let our boast be in you, O God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May God be gracious to us, Look upon us kindly and give us peace through Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a peaceful night.